deep float serve. Great pass from Grabenikov. And a hard angle there for Tilly. Block hitting right around it. Jansen Van Dorn serving for the first time for him in this match. Nice pass there by France. Tilly out of the back row. Tags the blockers, and that's a point for France. Big hit cross court for Lepke. All of them right up to TJ Sanders. He's got a lot of attack options. TJ Sanders serving 16 11 for Canada. Tilly cranks that ball, uses Jansen Van Dorp's hands. Back set to four. Canada doesn't block that one, treating it as almost a free ball. Triple block for France, and Lepke finds a way through it. Really impressive with a triple block. Swinging right at it through the hands. He finds that small seam right to the back of the court. Perrin serving. 18-12 for Canada. Ticks the tape. Tilly going hard. Perrin's there. He's almost there, but Tilly's attack is just too much for the Canadian defense. Brand still trailing. 17-23. by Tilly, solo on the outside. It's a monster block. Gets his right hand over. And he Set opportunity here for Canada. Perrin on the outside, he's blocked. And it'll be called as a lift. Sanders puts in the float there to Linnell. Tilly going over the three-person block. He gets hands. A great play there. Locking them up. And in this case, Tilly, you can see he takes a look, sees the three blockers, goes off. Just There were some questions on whether or not he was healthy. He looked like he might have sprained his thumb in the last match. A great attack out of the outside there. Side out here. Serving for France. Puts in a floater. Lepke goes cross. It's a piece of the hands, and also that's one Grabenikov is going to want back. Close he was. He's just waiting, makes his move. 20 to 5. Nice attack out of the back row from Lepke had too much international experience, but he's getting a lot here at Nations League. Pretty good pass from France. And Tilly finds the seam. Using Slater's hands there, and I hope Italy, and he's going to Turkey next year with Ankara. Great pass from Canada's Marshall. And high off hands for Lepke, he loves the hands. Another good pass from Marshall right up to TJ Sanders and a big hit from Lepke. That was a clean attack. Great dig there by Renovgov. And another great effort by the Canadians. They have to put it over. That's four touches. And Tilly finishes it for France. 1918. Cross court attack. It's recycled by Slater. This time Perrin goes again. Cross. Amazing dig there from Tanichi. Blocked by the Canadians. Back to Tilly. And this one will be called out. And it will be in France's favor as Tanichi put it over, but then off of the Canadian block, it hit the antenna.
And then this is how it ended. As you can see, it goes off the block and just ticks the antenna. They're in a bit of a hole, down 20 to 23. Great pass from France. Blocked there, Jean Patry. And Tilly is blocked, but great block touch there. And a kill for Canada. Look at that Lepke. Get a 41% attack efficiency. Good pass from France. Back to Jean Patry. He's starting this set. Jansen Van Dorn was there. Almost able to push it back, but... Slater is blocked. He'll go out to Lepke, and this time he tools the block. And now we've got Brizard. Back row attack from Lepke, scores for Canada. Board Perrin, the captain, one of our players to watch. He's the MVP this year of the CEV Challenge Cup. <laughs> Shanazi using his feet to keep it alive, but he boots it a little deep. Marshall's hands there. The game. And Tilly now back to serve. Very athletic play cross court. And a short serve. Lepke does a great job of keeping it up. And now Demonyenko gets his first attack attempt. Block there for Demonyenko. Recycled by France. An attack down the line there for Patsley. He'll go again this time. Gets Perrin's hands. And a back row attack kills for Lepke. Chinese again going after the libero this time on Canada. Lepno facing three blockers. Perrin gets a good block touch. A great dig from the middle blocker. Patelis saves it. Klevno going back. Lepke finishes it off. Voltaire the was there in the middle. And we've seen a new setter into the game. Substitution, Brett Walsh. Klevno, in fact, goes right to six. And Perrin is blocked. Tilly comes up with the block to give the French the set. 25-22. Marshall struggling a bit with that serve. Lepke going off hands. Great pick up there, but nobody's able to chase it down for France. And Rebenikov a little bit. On the triple block, that's tough when you dig it in that direction because everybody's been sucked. Demnyenko serving for Canada. Great pass from the libero. Voltor is blocked. And it's a kill down the line for Lepke. They've been working on that connection, that speed outside, and it's fast, and he's able to find a lot of space down the line. Great pass from Marshall. Klevno taking the second ball out to Patsley. Goes off hands. Marshall again with the pickup. Fantastic defense from both sides. Tilly going cross. And Slater keeps it alive. Free ball for France. And a huge kill there from Tilly on the outside. France leading 5-3. Perfect pass to TJ Sanders and a solo block though for Tilly. He's had a couple of those on the outside. Reading the opposite hitters. 
swing block gets his. Canada's had some pretty good passes in this set so far, and an off speed shot scores for Lepke. Canada will appreciate having him in the back row as he's been a huge force at the net with blocks. Lepke gets his 17th attack point of this match. He now leads all players. Fantastic back row attack. And Sanders has done a great job of distributing the balls to the back row, making sure. Lepke serving 10-14 for Canada. Canada's really been applying a lot of pressure on the serves here. Tilly using the block. And right now in this game, he's got 15 points. Middle Van Berkel serving for Canada. Easy pass up from Tilly and an attack down the line. But it's out. If Canada can find their way back into this match, it would be a comeback of all comebacks. And it's an ace for Demyanko. Laurent Tilly is asking for a challenge on whether this was in or out. We've seen some very close balls on that back corner line this week. We'll see if Canada tagged the line or not. And it's just...